Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dower and I got caught up to be so, so busy with the recent schedule, the recent semester coming back up, but I think I'm adjusting to the changes. I've had a lot of classes for the Monday, the Wednesday, but the Tuesday, Thursday do feel like a very easy day for me. So this video is going to be another commentary video. I am preparing a lot of footages to talk a little bit more serious fashions and preparing a lot more guides for assassination, subtlety, and even outlaw. I'm collecting as much footage as I can, but honestly, I just can't find myself enough time just to get everything set up. So my apologies for that ahead of time. I don't want to turn the channel into just me sitting down and commenting like, Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Cares, and today we're going to be talking about some drama and phase and shit whatever the fuck whatever the hell youtube is all about these days anyway let's talk a little bit about assassination i had a hell of a game during the live stream and you guys should definitely check out my live stream because i'll be testing all the rogue changes so if you guys have any specific questions or want me just to test something uh feel free to come out to the channel uh the link in the description below so I got to test out Assassination, and the current build that I'm playing does not reflect what I think will be the best build for Assass. Currently it is difficult for me to decide what I want to do, and I feel like I simply need to spend a lot more time on the spec to really get the feel for it, because even right now I feel like I don't know the spec all that well, or well enough for me to say that yes, this is exactly the build, here it is, let me present you my findings, here's everything that I can find about Assassination as a specialization, and this is everything that's going to be basically the means to success for all of you so I got a few questionnaires and I'm guessing this is some of the questions you guys will be asking me in this video and I kind of want to answer them ahead of time and uh, just kind of generalize as many questions I can to answer as many of you guys questions with this new patch first of all does assassination feel any different after 715 not really it doesn't actually feel that different except for that one exciting moment where it's like oh I can blind but then it's like it kind of just goes back to the same old same old and I don't mean that in a, like a negative way like oh it's been boring same old same old or saying that oh it's been great same old same old it's just whatever you felt the same about it so whether you like the spec or didn't like it in the past I don't particularly think you'll find it that much different now the next question is how does the burst feel and I think it's kind of the same story the burst I feel like there are some minute differences that I personally cannot feel I feel like it's like there's a disturbance in a force but I can't quite pinpoint exactly where it feels different again it just might be a thing where I just need to play around with different talents and maybe the meta for the talents that we have currently might be a little bit different and I'll get to that question afterwards and a little, a little just about some of the powerful talents you should be grabbing or shouldn't be grabbing how I feel about them but I feel that yeah the meta just might change and if you've been playing assassination for a while those players will find the most amount of differences in terms of how the spec functions compared to me and compared to somebody who just plays it just for fun from time to time because this is a spec that i mostly play in terms of pve rather than pvp simply because it puts out some massive deeps for the single target pve action so i definitely know it better in PV P pve in raids environment rather than pvp environment all on its own but I do know it's a powerful spec just from facing some really powerful assassination rogues, especially in 2v2 arenas, and just getting dumpstered by some of the best players that can that really do know how to play the spec properly. So I do know that it's a powerful spec, but from my personal opinion, it's just I feel like there's something there, but I can't quite pinpoint. So take that as you wish. Uh, next question: How does the slow nerf affect assassination? In the past, I, back in the beta of, of Legion, I thought that Assassination was going to be the second fastest spec out of three specs of Rogue. Subtlety is still the fastest, but ever since some of the changes and after playing a lot of Outlaw, I would even say that Outlaw has more mobility than Assassination. The grappling hook allowing you to basically shadow step where you want to with a slight delay, just a very slight delay, plus sprint and cooldown reduction on your mobility based abilities actually I feel puts Outlaw ahead in terms of mobility. So assassination is the furthest behind, but the mobility you have is still decent. You have a sprint and maneuverability that you can add with sprint. Uh, then you have a shorter duration on sprints or a shorter cooldown on sprints, so 50 seconds rather than a full minute. Then you also have shadow step, which is great mobility in different situational areas. But I feel that for the most part, assassination might be the one spec out of all three that is impacted the most by the slow nerf. I'm not saying it is impacted to the point where you're not playable. It is a little bit annoying and I felt that assassination I do notice the slow a little more than when I played Outlaw Rogue. And I am yet to try uh, Subtlety and I'm going to be doing that today on stream. Check out my Twitch. Um, I'm going to be checking out Subtlety for the day and the assassination trying to figure out some of the best builds and uh, trying to uh, get some footage together for the guide that I'm trying to uh, put together for the two specs. But I feel like 
Assassination is going to be the spec where you actually might notice this low nerf because of your mobility being situational You are going to have to be a little bit more reliant on being able to use shadow step and sprint at proper times Because if you're unable to use shadow step and sprint at a proper time Then you'll basically run yourself out of mobility and then you what are you going to be using throwing knives at the enemy and throwing daggers at them? With assassination there is a little bit of forgiveness because you can put your dots on the enemy and that's majority of your damage is just throw the dots and the bleeds on the enemy so you will get most of your damage there but when it comes to actually bursting into a target actually meleeing them for those poison procs uh, getting your artifact weapon which you need to be in melee range continuously hitting the enemy for that's where it's gonna suffer a little bit and if you're not able to adjust to the slow nerf that has happened to all three specs of rogue as an assassination rogue then I think a lot of players that are at a lower tier and not that experienced are definitely gonna fall far behind even in something as simple as battlegrounds in my opinion so there's a little bit of a skill cap to assassination it's not the kind of skill cap of properly using rotation but it's more a question of proper positioning and knowing what to use your mobility based cooldowns which I guess in some ways is like it's easier than just knowing your rotation properly uh, at least in, in some aspects but I do think it comes with challenges of its own so as an assassination rogue don't think that it's gonna be an easy walk in a park unless you get your mobility right Alright, uh, next question. Does assassination feel squishy? I would say it is the squishiest out of the three rogue specs, but it's not the squishiest in the game. Uh, when comparison to, let's say, Subtlety, who has a lot of control, has the ability to vanish and sit in stealth to gain back health, and has cooldown reduction on your defensives, then I think Subtlety has the most amount of, uh, uh, I guess, livability, or live... <laughs> However you want to say it, more survivability is the best way to put it, and uh, I don't know why that didn't come to my mind first of all. Survivability for subtlety with control is basically where most of your uh, squishiness or the lack thereof comes from. And without that we have Cloak of Shadows which gives you the ability to heal yourself if a caster keeps hitting you while you have Cloak of Shadows up, so that's capability for healing. Then we have Repost which can parry all the attacks in front of you but also turn the onto the enemy with common point generation that it brings. So you're able to turn a defensive position into an offensive position where you're no longer worrying about your health but the enemy has to worry about their health. So you're able to kind of flip the tables on the enemy. Plus your mobility allows you to get away from realistic situations. With Assassination you're kind of stuck like uh, you really are stuck in a situation so once you get in there you have to have a plan ahead of time you have to use your defensives and offensive cooldowns properly and I think you got to manage them a little bit better than that of subtlety and outlaw so if you're not able to do that then you'll see yourself dying a little bit more in BGs assassination is one of the specs that shines really well when there's a healer around when you are able to spread all your pressure all over multiple enemies so that's kind of where your strengths are going to be coming from Although it isn't impossible for assassination rogues to do well in a 1v1 situation or 2v1, uh, it just takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of more understanding of how your defensive abilities function in comparison to the other specs. Next question that I'm expecting, what is the best build for assassination? Could it be Exsanguinate, Alacrity, Master Poison, Elaborate Planning? What is it? Uh, I'll give a quick rundown for everything. I feel like Xang could do well because we had a bleed, uh, basically a buff to slight buff to rupture uh, for consistency. We had a buff to um, Garrote when used out of subterfuge and a buff to internal bleeding indefinitely. Plus we had a 7% overall buff for assassination in terms of damage. So Xang might be better. Uh, we'll just have to see. Maybe Hemorrhage might come back, but probably not. I'll just have to try it out. Agonize the Poison does seem like a powerful option, but it's a question of it might be too slow. It might just be easier just to put your bleeds and then take a ble uh, dot from the poison and just go put bleeds on more than one target and just allow those bleeds to go. But Agonize the Poison might be a viable option if Paladins can no longer mass cleanse people like they can uh, or like they could last patch. And I tried it in a few BGs. I don't know how I like it. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I'm still giving it a shot and I'll uh, have a I'll have a defining thoughts once I make the guide for assassination. Is Alacrity any good? Probably not. I mean, it's okay, and if uh, Agonizing and Xang are not that great, then Alacrity is okay, but 20% haste for an assassination isn't as good as 20% haste for an Outer Rogue, simply because the way the specs are built and how they benefit from different stats. Uh, haste doesn't really do much for assassination, just energy regen and attack speed increase, which is nice, but it's not as effective as some of the other stats. Imagine Mastery, Crit, or even Versatility buff 20%. Now that would be some stat. Uh, Master Poisoner or Elaborate Planning, again, really difficult to decide. I think Master Poisoner is going to be a good consistent uh, talent that we've used in the past. Elaborate Planning might not be as bad as we think, it might not be as nerfed as we think, because Assassination did get overall buff, plus Elaborate Planning just a 3% nerf. Might still be good for PvP, but it's really difficult to decide. 
that's kind of that's the questions that I have of which build is the best and I'm just playing around with it trying to figure that out uh, so this is why I asked you guys at the very beginning of the video to uh, let me know in the comments which assassination build you're running just so I can try different variations and uh, see what I find comfortable and compare them against one another in as objective matter as I can so I can uh, make my guide a little bit more efficiently uh, last question, is Assassination going to be the strongest comp in the game? It has a blanket silence with Garrote, it has a blind step kick, strong pressure that can put on more than one target. Is Assassination going to be the best spec for 715? I feel like it has potential, it's hard to tell. <laughs> a lot of people are uh, trying to decide whether assassination or subtlety would be the best. Assassination gets a blind, plus it has good consistent damage and garrote. So it's like, no brainer, duh, of course it's gonna be the best. But there are people arguing that subtlety might be more consistent with its CDR that it still maintains and some of the buffs that it got for its uh, other forms of damage plus the CC. Plus this is Season 2, 715, class changes did happen. So maybe subtlety could be good. Uh, a lot of people are not even looking at Outlaw, and I'm just like that lonely guy. Hello, Outlaw could be good. So I think Outlaw has potential as well. It is difficult to tell. And I feel that Assassination just didn't change that much with the blind. That blind is going to offer Assassination a little bit more opportunities in 2v2 and 3v3 games in terms of bringing in a little bit extra CC. So you might have some different comps that you would normally play with, but that you're not going to, it's not going to feel and it's not going to be 100% different every single time though that's that's the issue so if it's not that different then it's a question of like what did really change then what actually changed can we can we take a look at it blizzard what actually changed in the game so it's just like one of these things i'm just trying to figure out for myself guys and uh you shouldn't take my word too close just take it with you know with a grain of salt uh because i'm still trying to figure these things out i'm trying to keep uh, my open mind on the whole assassination thing and trying to view it as objectively as possible but otherwise guys thanks so much for watching this video let me know what kind of builds you're running for your assassination rogue what are your thoughts on the new assassination rogue in 715 and hopefully you guys are excited and anticipating the assassination rogue pvp guide coming out very 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 soon Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next one.